Yes guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm sorry it's been like a week since I last uploaded. I've just been focused on some business things. Right below me here is my CP grip that I'm going to be releasing. Hopefully by the end of this week from this video. It should be Saturday is the launch date, but keep your eyes up for it. So make sure you follow me on Instagram if you're not already. Just so you're known for sure. There is going to be limited stock. So if you are going to want to pair, you need to get in there quickly. I'm going to be doing a launch sale. So they're going to be a discounted price. So if you want to pair, make sure you're ready for that. And follow CP Grips as well, which is the Instagram for my brand. So like I said, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in about a week. I have been super busy with like some business stuff, etc. And I've been speaking to my new strength and conditioning coach for a schedule going forward. So from today is grind season. So whatever pre-season may be, I'm going to be fit. I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be strong. It's been specifically made for me and my body and what I need to improve on as a player. But obviously, if you guys want to follow it too and the sort of routine I'm doing, then that's perfectly fine. For some reason, I've managed to get a spot over the last week in the worst place possible. And B Tech Grealish is back. That's what the people like to see. B Tech Grealish in this trim. Wow. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've just come into the garden to have my breakfast and it's so nice out in England today. I've got my breakfast shake here, I've got my herbal tea. Obviously we only have it in our unicorn cup, as you would know, or if you are new around here, we only have it in our unicorn cup. And we also have some porridge oats with a scoop of protein in there. I am changing up my diet a little bit just because my schedule going forward is going to be a little bit heavier, especially on my legs, etc. Um, the workload is going to get bigger now, just to make me stronger and fitter for pre-season coming up. Okay, so this morning, guys, we're going to be starting with some lowers. This week is going to be aimed at like, getting a baseline, getting a strength baseline going forward. So I'm not really going to be running as much this week. I'm just going to be focusing on strength, on a lot of lower body work, etc. And then next week, I'm going to be sort of running like whilst I'm fatigued, but I'm going to have to run for it. So it's basically like practicing my body to be able to perform a high intensity whilst fatigued. So it's like being able to perform well in like the second 45 minutes of the game. Because I feel like that's where most people lack when they're blowing a little bit in the last 10, 20 minutes of the game. So that's basically like the idea around it. JF run it back. I've come to the conclusion that I'm an absolute weirdo. If you're wondering why the walls are like that, the bathroom is being made at the moment. It's under construction. But yeah, I'm going to brush my gnashes real quick and then we're going to get started with our lowers. Yeah. Alright guys, so I've secured the water. Um, as you can see here, I've got tires, got a bar, that's like my squat rack that I've made. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I've made like my own squat rack, etc. from using these tires and this bar. Um, so that's what we're gonna use today. I need to go weigh one of these tires because I don't know actually how much the tire weighs. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Yeah, run it back. As you can see, it's 20 kg. All right, guys, so we're out in the garden. We're going to do our lower body session. I've got the program in front of me right here. We're going to be doing lower body conditioning, explosive power, okay? So I'm going to try and set up my equipment now with my tires and my bar, etc. Yeah, let's get into it. Run it back.
first time like doing like sort of like proper lower stuff in a while so it's all getting the technique back in the balance something we definitely need to focus on which is why we're doing it now and obviously the equipment isn't perfect it's a bit off balancing but it's the best we can do right now so i'm gonna have a three minute rest because i need to make sure each set is as explosive and as good as possible <laughs> That set felt way better already. I'm um, just after doing one set. So that was a good, good little round. I've now got a three minute rest. I'm just gonna do some like ball juggling in between. Um, just have like an active recovery and obviously I can just keep getting touches of the ball, you know? So that's three sets of six done. Yeah, I felt all right. I just feel like I kept getting a bit off balance in that, but I'll keep getting stronger on that and that'll get a bit easier as time goes on. So yeah, let's move Jay, on. it, back. I've never done that before, that one's a bit different. I was just getting the technique down. To start off with, I feel like I was, when I was jumping up, I was bringing my leg round. I need to try and do it so my leg comes straight up, you know what I mean? I'm gonna do three sets of this, six each side. Oh, good. Loads better, that one. Loads better. Whoa. It's a bit hard and a bit of a weird exercise. I feel like I need to learn it. But as I'm doing it, I need to, like, I'm cycling it. So, like, my heel needs to come to my bum and come over like I'm cycling when I jump. It's a bit different. It's good. Yeah, I've run it back. Alright, so I just watched it back. Um, I feel like my technique's actually pretty good. I thought I looked a bit worse than that, but I'll take that. It's pretty good. I just need to get quicker and snappier with it. As soon as I hit the ground, I need to be explosive and snappy to go off again. Because obviously that's how you increase speed, etc. So need to really focus on that contact time and how quickly you can export all that power and that energy to go again because obviously that's how you get quicker etc but yeah i'm just trying to be a bit wary of the floor because i don't want to twist my ankle or let my knees slip or something just because it is a bit uneven in my garden it's not it's not very flat should i say that Run it back. My ankle 
ankle twisted then, but I was alright. That's what I need to be careful. I'm going to speak to my strength and conditioning coach, and it might even be worth me doing it on the road instead outside, just because it's flat and even ground. So, yeah, I might have to do that next time. All right, so moving on to the last exercise of the session, we're now going to do something called A skips. Shit is here for All right, so that's not too difficult. That's just more focusing on the contact and the stiffness of your ankle. So stiffness in the ankle is how you like export power for, from your legs to then get quicker. I'm not really smart, like knowledgeable on it, but I roughly know how it works. I'm just quickly gonna watch this back and compare it, see if it's good. Right, so after just comparing it as to what it should look like, cause on my program, I've got videos as to what each exercise should look like. Um, I think I'm doing it slightly, slightly wrong. So I'm gonna try and do it a little bit better. This one's really, really difficult to master just because it's like, I don't know, it's really tricky with the feet. This is what it should look like. So yeah, that is what it should look like. I don't know how close I am to that, um, but yeah, we'll see. Shit is here for game. So that is the lower body explosive session done. I am going to analyze them A skip hops just because they're a bit tricky. A bit of a mind, a bit of a mind tangler, should I say. So yeah, that's something I'm going to have to practice. Hey, I'm running it back. Guys, I'm no skincare genie, but as soon as you finish working out and you've got sweat in all that, so make sure you wash your face straight away. You don't want that dry sweat drying all over your face. That's how you get spots. But obviously, you can't always prevent it. All right, so the bar has gone a bit wonky, but I'm gonna have a protein bar right now, and I'm just quickly cooking up some pasta and tuna. That'd be good old pasta and tuna, but I do actually need to go shopping today to get some food so I can real prep for the rest of the week. Nice and easy to quickly cook up some tuna and pasta. So we've just made our food. Nice and simple, but it's actually quite an exciting week for us, to be fair. I have actually ordered a Canon G7X Mark III, so the vlogging game and the quality is going to be stepped up by a million times. So we're looking forward to that. That should be coming tomorrow. We're going to step up our vlogging game. We're going to have a mic and everything, have a nice little vlog set up. So you're going to be able to see me in HD. I know you're looking forward to that. <laughs> So also this week, I should be launching my brand CP Grips, hopefully this Saturday. So make sure you're ready because it's limited stock. I feel like it's going to sell out pretty quick because there's a lot of people interested. So if you do want to get some, make sure you're ready on Saturday. They're going to be at discounted launch price. So if you want some, it's the perfect time to get it. Oh, I'm pressing buttons, I shouldn't press it. I've got the window wipers going. It's so hot in here. All right, so I am now gonna go shopping, just get my food prep stuff for the rest of the week. So yeah, let's go up there now. Listen to the bad boy. Right, let's get it. All right guys, so I did just go shopping. I didn't actually record anything whilst I was there just because I forgot to be honest, but I've got everything I need here. I'm not actually gonna cook my meal prep right now, but got some pesto. Sun soaked tomatoes, baby spinach, an onion, two tins of chopped tomatoes, char grilled peppers, a big box of chicken, farfalli, farfalli, rigatoni, rigatoni, and some pine nuts. 
All right, guys, so for any of you that are watching right now, I'm going to show you a pair of what the seafood grits are going to look like. So if you guys want a copper pair, like I said, be ready for Saturday. So here's a little, like, snippet of what they're going to look like. So if you guys want a pair, be ready. I've got limited stock, so make sure you guys are in there because everybody's wanting a pair. Like I said, Saturday, be ready to copper pair at a discounted price. Shit is here yeah. for you. Alright, so our chosen sock of choice is obviously the CP grips. Look how nice they're looking. So sexy. But honestly, honestly, they're so comfortable. I, I love it. Like These have been in the works for like three months now, three and a half months, just because I wanted everything to try and be as good as it can. Obviously, I'm going to keep improving it and rebranding, etc like change the design going forward because that's how you, you keep improving your business. So this is going to be the first drop on the first launch. I'm so excited for it. But I feel like they feel even more comfy once they've been in the wash once. You need to get a pair. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, so I'm all ready for my football session. See you in a sec. All right, guys, so we made it here and there's nobody here right now. There was actually a group of lads that were playing, but as soon as I turned up, they literally just left. So we got bullied, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm joking, but yeah. So we're gonna get a nice little session in because obviously I've done quite a bit of loading on my lows this morning. Um, so we're just gonna do like a little bit of dribbling, maybe a little bit of shooting, but at good intensity. So let's get it. Run it back. The grips that good on these it's like your insole, man. new around here we always start off with quick feet work before we do any sort of football session i always want to improve my quick feet just because i'm a winger i'm a pacey player so that's what we're doing right now Like, I felt massive improvement just doing that. Every time I come up here, I always forget to set my watch. So I've literally only just set it. So we missed out on about 10 minutes of work, but that's fine. You just add it on. Guys, my hair is going all over the place. So I've gone from Grealish to CR7. Hey, I think I prefer to be CR7 today. Let's get it. <laughs> so we're just gonna do some dribbling. 
Um, I'm not really focusing on the shooting right now. I really just want to get a high intensity like dribbling sort of session in. Um, I've set up like three cones here and two here. So I'm going to go in and out of these cones. Then I'm going to like beat these as if they were like men. So I'm going to do like step overs, etc. Jay, I've run it back. Bubbles on this pitch, ridiculous. Alright guys, so I'm feeling really good, I'm feeling really sharp. As always, if you watch my videos, my phone is always on low percentage when I'm out here doing my football sessions. When I get my new camera tomorrow, I don't know if I'm going to be able to start using it from tomorrow. I think I should be able to. I'm not going to have this problem because I'm going to have two batteries. It's going to be all fully charged. So I'm never going to have to worry about anything like that. It's going to be so much easier. The quality will be better. And you'll be able to see some HD footage goals and me working. So, Jay, I've run it, bet. So we have come back from the football session. We was actually out there for an hour and 20 minutes. I did spend a good amount of time actually like working on my free kicks and my free kick technique. Got like my own little technique that I'm mastering at the moment. Doing pretty well. And I've now got my like recovery shake. Got my herbal tea, of course. It's gonna help re-energize me and it's gonna help me recover. I have still got upper body and core left to do today. It's a bit annoying though, because obviously my phone was dead when I was doing like my free kicks and that and I scored some absolute bangers, which is annoying, but it's all good. Once I get my new camera tomorrow, I'm not gonna have that problem ever again. But apart from that guys, I felt really, really sharp today. Uh, the CP grips are feeling amazing. I feel a bit stiff and tired now just because of the lowers earlier. It's been quite heavy on my legs. But yeah, we're gonna have our recovery shake and our herbal tea now. I just chill out for a little bit and have our banana. Then we're gonna do our upper body session. I don't know, I think I might do my upper body and core and then have some food and then I can rest and recover for the rest of the evening, uh, which is perfect. So guys, we're in the gym right now. This is what our gym looks like. This is called a multi-gym, which is what I have. It kind of like does the job. I've got like a chest press, flies, tricep pull downs, and like down here, I can do like bicep curls. It's kind of like a dump room to be honest. Um, this is what it was used for before I put the gym in here. I feel like every house has one of these rooms where you literally just throw all your junk in. It's a bit messy, but this is where we do our gym stuff. So. Today, I am focusing on just strength. If you guys want to improve your strength, you do less reps, but heavy, heavy, heavy weight, if you know what I mean. If you guys are trying to get bigger, bulk up, and then you do more reps and a bit of lighter weight, so there's a bit more repetitions. We're going to do six reps of each exercise that we're doing. Once again, I forgot my AirPods. Great. Boys, what are we saying to the CR7 look? 
I don't know. I don't know if it's a bit me. Alright guys, little warm up. Chest press, one minute rest, and then flies, and then two minute rest, and then back in. So it's like a super set with a one minute rest, you know what I mean? You can do a bit heavier than that. All right guys, so I'm gonna be doing Four sets of that, and then I'm gonna move on to the next exercise. I just wanna quickly show you, like, I'm nearly doing the whole thing. I'm literally two off, I think. Yeah. Six reps will be there. I'm gonna move on to bicep curls. I'm only I'm gonna do like eight reps this time, like six to eight reps. Um, obviously it's gonna be quite heavy. Okay. Alongside this, I'm also gonna be doing tricep pull downs. So I'll do bicep curls, one minute rest, tricep pull downs, heavy again, and then a two minute rest. Just because it's heavy, and I need to make sure. I can push it, do you know what I mean? Just nearly chopped my finger off doing that, look at that. Wait. You see? I don't know if you can really see it. It's throbbing a bit that, but I'm gonna try and do four sets. I've done six, well, I've done five and a half there, but I'm probably gonna stick to doing four reps, four sets of four on that. Right, so we just finished our upper body session. I'm now gonna check my schedule because I've now got core. Um, that scared me. That scared the old, all right, guys, I dropped my MacBook earlier, yeah? And I thought, oh, God, I fucked it. And then as I just turned this on, the screen was all fuzzy, but it's okay. Yeah, so I'm going to check my program and see what exercise I'm going to do. So this core session that I'm about to do is, like, designed to hit the areas of my core, uh, specifically to, like, hold off players in a game. I don't really know. But, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so to start off, we're doing Spider-Man Plank, 15 each side.
Alright guys, so that's not too hard. Um, that was actually my second set because my first set, I don't know why I didn't record. So I literally just done it again. So that's my second set. I'm going to do four sets of this just to like get a good little hit in. It's not really like the hardest sessions that you see me do of like core and up. These sort of exercises like specifically hit certain areas on your body. I think that's like the meaning behind it when I was speaking to my, my coach. Obviously, as you've seen in like previous vlogs, I have been doing like a lot harder and longer. It is still good. It's still good. All right, guys. So we've just finished our core and uppers. I've now got a protein shake here which is absolutely unreal by the way. And I'm now also gonna go cook up some food as well because I'm hungry and I need to refill. But yeah, apart from that guys, all the hard work for the day is pretty much done. I've just got some business stuff to do and that now, obviously I'm gonna cook and we can chill and recover and then get ready for tomorrow, which is gonna be another tough day. All right guys, so I have just cooked up my meal prep. Um, as you can see, this is my dinner, but look, that's gonna be my lunch for the next six days, which is perfect. All right, guys, with that being said, the day is done. I'm gonna finish up some nice little munch and some water. I am gonna end the vlog there, guys. We've done a very, very good busy day. Obviously, we've done the explosive strength in the morning. We've done the football session for like an hour and 20 minutes. We've also done uppers and we also done core, which was really, really good. Our body's feeling it. We go again tomorrow on with the schedule. The vlog won't be out tomorrow, but it'll probably be, I'm hoping to get out the day after. I'm gonna try and get a vlog out every two days for you guys so don't worry about that i'm gonna try and get all the content out and rolling but if you are new around here like i said please make sure you hit that subscribe button we're like looking at it now we're uh, 900 subscribers away from 25k which is pretty sick so yeah like i always say stay positive stay grinding and i'll see you in the next one